for the stats to update on the dashboard. Um, doop -a doo. Yeah, let's see. Shoop a doop -a doo. All right, it looks like I'm going right now. Um, yeah, thanks everybody for joining. Uh, I'm Lily Chin. I was on Jeopardy today. Um, I talked about Twitch online. Uh, and even though I'm really busy at work, I figured that I should probably stream a little bit. Um, normally I stream on Sundays and Thursdays. I also think it's a little unfortunate because I've already made plans for Thanksgiving, so I'm not going to be streaming this Sunday or Thursday. <laughs> Uh, but whatever. I'll stream for a couple hours, probably go to sleep. We'll see. I'm really busy with work, but... Uh, yeah, so I got the chat window open, and, uh, yeah. So, I think it's funny that I actually got to talk about, um, Twitch on air, even though I didn't mention it by name. But basically, um, you have these stories that you give Alex, and you sort of pick out what's interesting, what's not. Uh... And for the Tournament of Champions in particular, they wanted stories about how Jeopardy changed your life because they're self-serving and advertising. Um, so my first story was the spiciest meme lord burrito and beer. And then uh, second story was, you know, doing Twitch. Um, third story, which I was surprised that they didn't end up choosing even for my top three, uh, was teaching about mimetic nano fame to middle school and high school kids. That was one of the things I was really excited about. Um, Another story was like, I don't know, um, I got this nice apartment for a pretty good deal uh, just because of Jeopardy money, I was able to front it. And that's about it. I think maybe a story about my guinea pigs, I really can't remember. Uh, but anyways, I'll play a little bit of Shenzhen IO. So hopefully as people come in, um, we can have like a little bit of an AMA uh, that was answering some questions on the subreddit. but. You know, here's how it goes. Playing some solitaire. Um, I guess also while we're in the Jeopardy fun fact mood, I was playing this actually on, uh, whatchamacallit, during the waiting rounds. Um, yeah, I got out the, uh, so I borrowed the cards and then I ended up playing with this. So it's, it's actually pretty straightforward to play as, uh, whatchamacallit. Um, you just remove the the jokers, or you, you you take out nine, all the numbers except for ten, and then you say like, okay, kings will be fa, um, queens will be bai, and um, uh, what you call it, uh, jacks will be hong. You know, just kind of split it out that way. Um, but yeah, pretty pretty straightforward. I'm really surprised that there's like already really sorted by color. Um, <laughs> makes my life easier, uh, like, cause I can even, maybe I'm just getting an easy one just cause they feel like they're, they want to be nice. I'm, I'm not complaining. I screw up so much on these, uh, dumb challenges. Anyways. I, I guess, I don't know, while I'm talking, I mean, I'll probably just talk about the themes again once people come in. Like, I guess I'm surprised that... And the regularity really seems to matter because even with literally all my followers doubled, um, still not that many people here. But what can you do? Oh, I'm lying. That just suddenly jumped to seven viewers. I guess the uh, <laughs> the Discord chat probably helped that. Um, yeah. Uh, doing some solitaire. I already screwed up probably. Uh, two. So the ones here. The ones here. Nine, eight, and seven. Man! <laughs> hey, it's because I was on Jeopardy, can I? Um, yeah, my episode aired, and actually there's an interview segment, uh, and I talked about streaming on Twitch. Uh, even though I couldn't talk about like specific brand names, so I couldn't say the words like Shenzhen IO, I couldn't say Twitch. Um, people said it sounded like I made my own streaming service because it was so ambiguous. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, um, People found my uh, found my Discord, and now it's kind of exciting. So that's also why I'm streaming on a Monday of all things. Um, I was gonna go back to work, uh, but that's sort of. It turns out it's really hard to work when you get like a new Discord notification slash Twitch notification, and like people are messaging you off the rails. So I was hoping this would be like more of like an AMA or uh, 
you know. It, 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 Shenzhen was never about the engineering. The true, the true engineering was the friends we made along the way, or some something like that. Uh, yeah. So, <laughs> if you if you want, you can go to the subreddit and figure out how I did. I don't know if you actually care that much about Jeopardy to watch, but <laughs> eh, God, um, it's just so much. Uh, I guess like if you don't want spoilers, but whatever. Um, like. I feel really glad this is over. Um, the only way that I'm gonna get have to do this again is that like if it's a freaking like tournament of champions of champions, right? But that's not gonna happen until another decade or so. Um, yeah, I'm I'm glad it's over. Uh, <laughs> I'm really hosed. Um, like I had to run watch parties and stuff like that. Um, yeah. <laughs> Ah, uh, okay. So I got that out. I can get this home here. It's down there. That's hard. It's the Shenzhen I.O. I thought it was programming. What? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, I'll show the programming part. So, so this is uh, Shenzhen. So you can see this is Huachang Bay, which is a really, um, like, it's, a, it's an interesting market because basically like the higher up you go um the higher up the stack you go so on the bottom level they sell base components like resistors and stuff like that and then you go level higher they sell test equipment and then finally once you go to the highest levels they're starting to sell like consumer electronics and apple knockoffs um so this is your desktop background like you can see i have this power here that'll shut off the game it's an operating system uh i can check my email which is how the the problems come in um and then like all computers you can play solitaire and goof off. So I have data sheets, which I can bring up via this. This should hopefully bring up the data sheet in your view. Yeah, um, so like they intend you to print it out as a binder, but like when you scroll down, uh, it's all like, look, here's how this component works. Or like, you know, here's a component that's entirely in Chinese. It looks like a memory, like flip flop thing you know, using that good old digital logic. And then there's like, here, look, there's their uh, uh, programming, you know, assembly language thing. So yeah, there is totally programming in here. <laughs> I, I always just try to start the stream by um, doing like a little bit of solitaire. Um, also because like, I understand this is a hard game to follow. I guess I'm really streaming this more for my own amusement, but like I'm not really sure why I'm playing this either. Because it is just basically like um, being in <laughs> Shenzhen without the pay. My my lab mates at the viewing party today were just like, you know, really like why 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 don't you just come to lab instead of playing this game? But here we are. Um, so here you can see like this is the beginning. Like these are my earlier emails. I've already solved quite a bit of puzzles. Um, so like here so you have like leader at longteng co like you know thanks for joining us carl's another expat engineer um joe is like seems to try to be a millennial he's product design obviously <laughs> um Ulili has is apparently the daughter of like this the the ceo dude and is also like tied up with some military industrial complex stuff she's she's kind of sketchy um, David Solomon has yellow fever and also is like trying to integrate in with the culture uh, and stuff. But he's also an American expat. And then this guy's my boss, um, Zhang Jie, uh, and he's like super serious and is just like you know do the thing. <laughs> How is this game different from a job? Well, it's easier than a job. Um, for one thing, the data sheets. Like, when I first saw this game, my complaints were, the data sheets are too easy. Uh, you can just look at them and already find the information you want. Um, like, uh, the actual wiring is not as complicated as it could be. It's sort of just connecting things. Um, so I guess we'll just dive in. Uh, it is pretty similar to a job though. Like my email gets out of control. You, it's basically a to-do list. Um, I get spam like here. Uh, here's a spam about getting rare earth metals in Western China, which is actually like a thing. Um, then there's also like, I signed up for some subscription about, uh, whatchamacallit, um, you know, how things work in Shenzhen and they're pretty realistic. Um, like, so this one is talking about how like you can get this thing. Th the reason why you're manufacturing Shenzhen is not only the labor, 
you can get a ton of labor for really really quickly which you definitely can't do in america um you can get, and then this one is talking about getting parts in particular right like you could find a part from a dude ask him if he could supply your part company was a million of them later the same day and they could it could happen and this is exactly like the hua chong bay thing i think um nigerian print scams i feel like i got one uh are you lonely? Do you feel isolated and disconnected from the world? Um, you could get virtual friends from buddy bots, you know, so this is definitely, I don't know, not Nigerian prince, but some kind of thing. All right, I guess I'll dive into it. Enough talking. Uh, if anybody has any questions, feel free to ask me because this game is going to be pretty dense. I mean, like I talked about on Jeopardy, it is sort of, I program my wire things. Um, okay, so sketchy daughter military industrial complex. Uh, Simple data router for smart grids. What, what did it? Oh, it was the aquaponics. Okay. Um, so smart grids, civic infrastructure. Okay, these X bus inputs are blocking, so we'll need to connect all inputs at once. Okay. All right, here we go. Oh, what did, what did I even do? This is, this always comes to it. So, okay, so I guess like a brief overview of how this game works. Um, so, uh, did I even <laughs> move? Okay, do things. Um, so I guess for a brief overview of how this game works, um, the email sort of sets up the plot of this uh, of this component. So we have this box, which is going to be like our router. Apparently, we have these informations and specifications. So it says like you know meter in says. Oh no, I don't like this puzzle. <laughs> I skipped this one because it was too hard. Um, so like meter in and meter out. Uh, I'll, I'll give a more simple example. Uh, Jeopardy. We're no, no. Um, ah, jeez. Okay, coin machine. Okay, so here's one. Here's an example of one that I've solved. Um, this box symbolizes like the machine itself, and these components in here are microcontrollers. So you can program them and you can wire them. Okay, so this machine um, like uh, takes in money. So there's a how many one dollar bills, how many five dollar bills, how many uh, twelve dollar bills it looks like, um, and it has a price. So it says, okay, how much money do I have? Compute the price and then spit out the difference um, and ring a bell. So you can see this one's labeled bell. This is like out five dollars, out one dollars, and in. So. You so so like it's like the company is wanting you to make this and you code it so that it does that and then so this is the specification uh, the stuff on the right are like microcontrollers um, so they have this blank section so you can program with uh, you have different ports so um, this port is just for like connecting simple inputs the X ones are for connecting like microcontrollers to each other um, because there's more of a communication aspect to it. Uh, and then there's other components, like this is a um, multiplexer, which means that it gives one solution and you, you put in one input and then you have a sol whole bunch of outputs. Um, you've also got like memory and stuff like that. Uh, you've got logic gates, like this is an inverter. A uh, whole bunch of stuff, including, I have no idea what this is. Um, yeah, the data sheet for this is in Chinese. Uh, so like you're wondering like oh how do I know all this stuff so that's that's in the data sheet um, which should be up yeah so like okay so it says random access memory um, you know 14 memory cells and here's an example about how you do it like also like this part in particular like the example of how you use it is usually not in freaking data sheets which is why I'm saying like oh it's too easy <laughs> and then I like proceed to get stuck on a puzzle for like two hours. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so then here's like the basic microcontroller, um, and then there's some like weird stuff. Let me, let me skip ahead. So like, like this one is like, um, mimicking the I Ching divination method. So is this things where you like roll dice or flip coins, uh, and you like tell the prophecies based on that. So apparently somebody made a chip based on that. Here's this one that's entirely in Chinese. Um, so like I can tell from my electrical engineering experience that this is like an inverter or a buffer. So this section is inverts it. This section is a buffer. Um, there's some like memory latch thing, which is this. 
These are AND gates, these are OR gates. I have no idea what the rest of it does. I'm illiterate in Chinese, so I cannot tell you what this says. Uh, yeah, um, and there's also like these weird things at the end which are related to like, like we had robot mining things and they told us to use this data sheet. But um, yeah, that's, that's basically um, what's going on there. So let's turn off that and put the chat back up. I have also played TIS 100. Um, I found it a lot less compelling than this because, uh, like, I think I'm only one or two puzzles away from beating TIS 100, but I found it a lot less compelling because it's just assembly and, like, the plot is like, oh, you found your uncle's old computer, right? Like, this is like, I've literally gone to Shenzhen. I have literally, like, worked in the factory and debugged freaking uh, electronics manufacturing and stuff like that. Um, so this is this. As soon as this game got announced, I was like, I have to play this. And um, even before Jeopardy, this is actually why I wanted to stream it because I thought I would have a lot more interesting uh, manufacturing stories that I could tell. Um, I mean, like Apple is not involved in the military industrial complex, at least not directly, right? Like, so <laughs> not not as equivalent of a of a game, but you know. All right. Like I said, I'm just gonna be doing stuff feel free to comment in the chat about stuff and thank you for subscribing i think that's what the star means so <laughs> um i'm currently working with my more artsy friend uh she does cms power hours with me um asking her to help me make some custom uh emoji uh i don't know what twitch is it twitch emoji whatever you know the little pictures um so hopefully we can get you some art but thank you for subscribing uh, what am I doing? Okay, meter in and meter out are X bus inputs. Right, so so this thing is in a grid. Um, lower in and lower out. <sighs> okay. Oh, so meters just, okay. So, so, so these are the connections to the other like grid things and the meter in meter out is just saying what it is. Okay, so higher in and higher out are X bus inputs. Okay, the first value in a data packet, which we'll get from meter in, I think, uh, is the ID number. Um, and then, okay. So I guess I need to store my current ID. Oh, so my current ID is in this module. Um, oh, and all of these are blocking, so I have to resolve them, EOM, <laughs> all at the same time. Okay. So check the ID number. Um, okay, so I was like, okay, we'll connect connect this to here. Um, and then this is my ID number, I believe. Uh, okay, we'll do something with that. Okay, move this here, move this here. Okay, so compare the accumulator to X1. This is probably blocking. Um, Okay, so local ID number is stored here. Um, the second value is the length of the rest of the packet. Oh, okay, so this is when I was talking about the heart bleed attack and how it was literally this, where like you could not, um, what was it? Like you, you t said that the message was longer than you actually send, so you could see other people's traffic on the network. Um, yeah, okay. This is gonna suck. This is why I skipped this. Okay, so let's see how this works. So I move X0 to ACC. Oh, do I have to like slicks until? All right. Okay, so I'm gonna sleep until I receive a value from X0. Okay, so. Oh, interesting. Uh, <laughs> do I? Huh. Okay, let me let me go out and read what my manager said. These X bus inputs are blocking, so we'll need to be uh, connect all inputs so they can be read at once. Okay. Um, so where do I get connect to power meter? Oh, I could get the data packet from anywhere? Oh boy. Okay. Uh <laughs> First value, okay, let's let's get that notes out. Okay. So first val first val equals um, ID number. 
second val equals um, length, and then uh, so then we go n later is data. Okay. Okay. So we need uh, which one's the ROM and which one's the RAM? All right. Let's look at this data sheet. Um, because so what I'm thinking is that I'm going to need to save the memory, uh, like and then spit it back out depending on what the thing is. Uh, push button. I, I need to go up to okay. Random access memory is the 100p14. So that one is this this component. All right. So all memory cells initialized to zero. Okay. Okay, it's handling address and an auto incrementing. All right, let's see how this goes. <laughs> um, let's make sure. Okay. All right. So okay. So I get all the values. So it doesn't matter which one I get, right? Because it's just yeah, just pass it along. Okay. Um. So why don't we just connect all of them? Um, I do remember this game did something funky about uh, like connecting inputs together, but we'll see how it goes. Um, okay, uh, yeah, let's just try this. So if we, oh no, it, it doesn't want to. All right, so let's select zero. Okay, so sleep until we get something, and then we got something. Move X here. Okay, okay. So that, so, so, okay. It is happy with us just connecting all of them together. Um, okay, so I'm going to sleep until I get something. Uh, move X zero into the accumulator, and then compare the accumulator to X one. Um, and if it's the same, we retransmit the. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I don't need to compare this until the end. Um, hmm, okay. Uh, so let's have one memory be... Actually, no, let's just save the whole data packet. Okay. Um, hmm. Shoot, I need more ports. <laughs> uh, no, it's already a big one. Uh, shoot, I need more ports. Um, wow, maybe wiring is actually going to be <laughs> tricky for this one. Uh, crud. Cause I need to. Okay, so 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 let's let's just make this as if I was going to just save all the data. Um. So, okay, I'll move x0, Let, let's, okay, let's save the destination into the dat, because eventually we can just compare dat to the final value. Okay, so, um, and then let's move x0 to the accumulator, um, and now let's do a loop, um, so this will be a loop to save things into here, um, but I need an output. Jeez, Louise. Um, okay, so what I'm thinking is that we're going to have another chip here serve as the output and connect all of, oh boy. Cause I need two connections. Boy. Um, oh, okay, I got it, I got it. Um, no, because I need to transmit the value. Okay, I only need the data input, maybe. So this will be handling the address, and then something like that. I'm really just guessing. Uh, man, see, 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 this is what I mean. Like, I complain about like, oh, the wiring is so easy, and then I like get absolutely dunked on. So, <laughs> um, but like, it it is easier than like an actual uh, like real life wiring thing because for one thing um like a simple example is that you have these traces right so for actual um 
electrical engineering, one thing that you have to be careful about is that the traces, if they contain like high frequency or high amplitude um, signals, uh, the wire, the signals between the two wires will actually couple, like they'll affect each other based on how close they are to distance. So you have to be careful with your high frequency signals and make sure that you don't route them too closely or that they're separated from one another. Um, and sort of like that level of complexity isn't captured in here, right? Like the, the most is that I have this mechanically, the mechanical engineers gave me this volume. I can't make my electronics go much bigger than this volume. Um, and that's like, sure, you have to think about that, but it's still a simpler problem than like the intricacies of electrical engineering, so. Doesn't mean that I still don't get wrecked. <laughs> uh, but like, you know, even when I'm talking about all of my Apple experiences, right? Like I was only an intern. I've gone to China twice, once with Square and once with Apple. So, you know, I, like the average electrical engineer for these like large consumer electronics firms go to China three times a year about, especially for Apple. I think Square, it's probably only one or twice a year. Um, they make the card readers, like if you've ever been to a farmer's market and swiped on the, the credit card thingy, that's Square. So, I worked at both those companies. Feel free to ask me more about those. Ah, okay, so we're doing this loop. Um, so now in the accumulator, we have like how much crap to move. So um, I'm going to move X0 into, into what is this? X2 to get it into the data. I'm going to, um, so I've moved it. I'm gonna sub one. So that's like one tick of the loop. And I'm going to compare if ACC, or check if uh, equal to zero. I'm check if the ACC is equal to zero. And if it is not, jump the loop. Okay. Um, Shoot, I need to signal to this thing. Um, crap. Oh, I'll use a port. Ah, boy, this is getting messy. Um, so I was thinking maybe I could use this port. Um, See, right, like complaining about <laughs> uh, wiring being too easy. It gets stuck. <laughs> um, okay. So I, I, I did like them being right next to each other. Um, I did like this. Okay. Uh, I can move this, move this to here. Um, oh, I can't put it right smack dab on top of it. <laughs> that would be convenient and we can't have that uh, I don't even need this ooh that looks bad I don't know how that looks the electrical engineer in me is cringing at that wiring right because it's like the equivalent of shorting all your inputs together so that sounds like a good way of frying your chip but the wiring's easy in this right <laughs> oh, god dang it <laughs> Yeah, oh boy, we'll see if this works. I, I've i been kind of skeptical about how this wiring schemes work. So we'll see, they'll probably yell at me. God, that looks so bad. Um, okay, so connecting this to here, um, and then let's, oh, this is gross. I don't think this is necessary. Well, find out uh just so one, another thing that's really annoying is i can't rotate these pieces which is definitely something that you could do in electronics but like it, it also took me a really long time to understand that that's what these bridges were for but they're so inelegant like it's the equivalent of putting like jumper wires everywhere and you know who does that uh okay so i want Okay, this, so the port will serve as um, like a signal. So I'm gonna move 100 to P1. Okay, let's just, 
I was gonna say, let's just see how this works, but... <laughs> Oh, X1's... Oh, shoot. Oh, no, 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 I don't need... This. So, right, I was serving... Okay. What I was trying to do is I was going to use port... Um, to... Uh, whatchamacallit. Port to... Like, use it as a signal so that I wouldn't have to look at the address thing and this one couldn't handle it. Some dude just sent out... Man, I hope this doesn't mess up the stream. I'm just gonna check my email really quick. Or no, I'll do it on my phone so I don't put it on this main computer. Man. <sighs> uh, hope you didn't say anything profane, at least. Um, geez. Oh boy, notifications all over the place. I, I thought I was doing pretty well. Um, uh, hello, I saw you on Jeopardy. Hi, I saw you on Jeopardy. Oh boy. So I don't think that the routing underneath... Well, <laughs> my, my email is not linked to uh, um, my, uh, my actual phone email, right? Oh, you mentioned some game you run a server for. Oh boy. I don't... <laughs> it, yeah, it really did sound like I had my own like video game server, right? No. Oh god. What, what can you do? How am I routing underneath the modules? You can just draw underneath it. Um, but the thing is that it doesn't count if it's the connections like this. You have to uh, like do it out here. So I don't think it's actually more helpful, but I don't know, it makes it cleaner. I'm, I'm making excuses for myself. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, you, you can just totally just like draw underneath it. Um, no, so okay, so the email part is like, see, I'm in this fake concept operating systems. There is no Shenzhen phone app. I was literally just checking my IRL email. Um, but like, it's like a fake computer. So you have your email app on your computer. That's that's all I was talking about. That would be really uh, weird if there was, especially because this game is starting to go into like military industrial complex things. I think that would be um, really, uh, really hard if like it started getting into your actual email, especially since like this was my job basically, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think it's interesting what the game does and doesn't tell you, um, because, like, they're straight up, like, I didn't know what bridges were until I, I watched uh, a stream. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Um, if you, if you know Nathan Pinsker, uh, he actually apparently designed one of the levels, which I thought was pretty cool. Um. Oh, you know Extra Tricky? Uh, we actually lived in the same dorm in uh, when when Extra Tricky was in college. Um, uh, do you follow Pokemon speedruns? <laughs> uh, what even was I doing? Um, let's see. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He went to. So um, this was a dorm, um, and like MIT is weird because. <laughs> That sounds like that sounds like extra tricky. Um, so MIT is interesting because uh, different dorms have a lot of different culture, and I don't mean just like oh we cook and stuff. Like I mean like we paint on the walls, or and then like individual halls have culture. So I was I was touring the dorm, and there were two guys. One guy was like desperately trying to say that um, this place was a social floor, and extra tricky was just like straight up doing a Pokemon speed run, and I was like I want to live on this floor. Unfortunately, it was an all-male floor, so I couldn't, but um, that's so cool that you, you know him. Yeah, he's a good guy. Uh, what am I even doing? Okay, so, okay, I'm using the port as a signifier. Uh, oh, I could even use a port as, like, the signifier for what to do. So, uh, I'll say... If it's higher 
Okay. If it's my uh, move negative one, so move this to P one. Oh, I think it's only. Uh, okay, so if it's positive, it'll be two. If it's not, it'll be zero. And if it's nothing, move one to. Oh, um. Oops. Oh. Thanks, Fused Rage. Um, I do appreciate the support. <laughs> As I said earlier, I feel pretty glad that Jeopardy is done, to be honest. Um, but I'm actually, I'm also equally as glad that uh, I got a bunch of Twitch subscribers from this. Like, um, or followers, I guess is a term. I, it's, it's confusing that they're different from, but like, like I was saying, um, I got a lot of my initial start on Twitch uh, from the, uh, from Jeopardy in the first place, and I'm glad that I got to talk about it more. Like, that's why I talked about it on the episode anyways. And that episode was recorded um, early September, and now what, it's like late November, so. Yeah, it looks like the stream, like, bitrate just died. Uh, man. I know that Comcast throttles the bandwidth um, so that audio goes through and video doesn't. I really don't know what to make of it. It's fine when it's like not very intensive games like Shenzhen IO, uh, but it doesn't really help out that well when it's like, you know, Bastion or The Witness. Not even in really intensive games, but sucks. Okay. Um, uh, okay. Okay, so I guess. Hmm. Okay, let's just see if this works. I'm not clear what this is supposed to do. So, okay. So, I get a response. Okay. So, I want to... I'm going to have four data points. Um, 81, 70, 62, and 17. Oh, P1's not connected. Rip. Uh, oh, it is. Oh, um, move P P zero to ACC. Okay, so I don't. Yeah, it's gonna have to wait until. Okay, so I think I want to make this like twenty ten and like five, maybe fifteen, just so. Hey. Churio? Um, not sure how to pronounce this, but I am reading the chat. Um, I guess I can also say, uh, I can type and say, uh, yes, I am reading the chat. Um, so, uh, okay, was the show recorded that far in advance? You do sign an NDA, so I basically gave up all of my image rights. Um, also, even looking closely at the, the contract that I signed, I technically can't badmouth Jeopardy. I mean, like, I'm not gonna be like, Jeopardy sucks, but like, uh, you know, I don't know. I feel like, as a media scholar, I've been doing some criticism. I don't think any of it is too negative. Um, but yeah, you do sign an NDA. Um, the audience also has been told, um... Oh my god! <laughs> wait, who are you? <laughs> wait, wait, Allison Okamura told me that she didn't have space in, uh, like, that she was oversubscribed, and I got scared off, because I was like, I ain't doing no course-based masters, and also, like, not getting the group I want, so, like, that, that honestly scared me off. I did not want to do a course-based masters. Man, who are you? What? <laughs> wait, 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 oh, man. She, she told me. She honestly, like, um, because she was my point of contact. Okay, sorry, for people who aren't uh, aware of this, um, I am a first year grad student, and so I applied to a whole bunch of uh, places for robotics, specifically um, Stanford Mechanical Engineering, Carnegie Mellon Robotics, um, MIT, which I'm currently at, and I also applied to Harvard, but I did not get into Harvard. Um, so, yeah, uh, Allison Okamura is this one professor, um, and she was my point of contact for Stanford. 
Uh, and so, like, I, I talked to her because I was interested in her group and Mark Kakowski's group. And Allison straight up told me that, like, I'm oversubscribed right now. Like, I wanted to be frank with you. Um, so, like, I'm not sure if there's if there's going to be space. And I, like, appreciated that. Um, but since Stanford is more, like, classes-based for their master's program, which you get en route to your PhD, um, I got scared off by it because I was like, I really don't want to put in this much work into classes. Wait, I did, I did, I did all the tours and everything. Are you, are you part of Allison's group? Wait, like, <laughs> I don't know who you are. <laughs> uh, oh man, anyways. Um, yeah, staying at MIT was a negative for me um, because like, I do think that it, I should go to other places um, and experience things. People keep making jokes that I'm gonna turn into a lifer because, um, Emma? Uh, I'm blanking on who Emma is right now. Sorry. Um, but like, am I going staying at MIT? Like, MIT has a bunch of lifers, which means that they stayed there for like undergrad, PhD, and then professor. Um, I don't think I want to be a lifer. <laughs> I think I I do think it's a negative that I stayed at MIT. To be quite honest. Um, but Daniela is amazing. Daniela kicks my butt and has me do a bunch of stuff, so. Uh, Emma, Emma Brunskill. I didn't actually look at her. Um, I'll, I'll write that down. No, I didn't look at her lab. I was looking at Meki pretty exclusively. Emma Brunskill. Oh, CSCMU. Um, oh wait, no, now at Carnegie, not Stanford. Huh. I'll, I'll go look at that later. <laughs> Kiddo, I already have chosen, right? Like, I'm, I'm in Daniela's lab, and I'm currently, like, part of the reason I'm so hosed is that um, I am looking at, uh, I'm trying to get a paper to the South Robotics Conference December 1st, so. Um, Silvio, what's Silvio's name? Uh, is this also at Stanford? <laughs> Got Berlusconi. That's that's not right. Silvio. I really didn't look at computer science at all. I was I was really looking at Mechie. <laughs> See, but I don't want to do code. I want to build stuff. <laughs> oh man. I like Danielle a lot, to be honest. Like I don't know, she's doing the the hardware combination stuff. Silverasi. Okay, yeah, that's the that's the person I found. I'll look at these later, but honestly, I do really want to do. I just want to build stuff. Like right now, I'm building soft robots, and it's really cool. I just don't want to really want to program. Except like Daniela is like, you got your you're you're going for an electrical engineering uh uh what you call it? You're 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 in electrical engineering and computer science, so you need to have some cool control algorithms. I'm like God dang it, I chose. Eek, so I didn't have to take the 12 classes required for Meki, but... <laughs> Look, Daniela is also pretty good, it turns out. Uh, and I mean, I'm at MIT. Um, yeah. I don't know. Maybe, well, maybe we'll find out. Maybe, like, I'll, like, totally, like, hate Daniela after the end of my master's, and then I will listen to randos on the internet telling me what to do with my career. Ah, uh, I don't even know who you are. Whatever. Um, I guess it's better than the randos who are emailing my my mailing list right now. No, I'm not switching the Mechie. Um, I've actually, like, if I were to do my undergrad over again, I would totally be in Mechie, uh, because I just really like building hardware a lot more than I like coding. Um, I'm, I'm good at coding. I'm like, I don't know. I can hold my out my own at coding. Uh, but like, if I could really have my passion, it would be Mechie. So yeah, well, I'm in C-Sale. Well, I, I, more accurately, I hang out in the C-Sale machine shop every day. Um, C-Sale is the computer science artificial intelligence laboratory at MIT. Functionally, it's the computer science department. Um, MIT is a little bit weird because they combine electrical engineering and computer science into the same department, which I think Berkeley does, and I'm not sure about other schools, but that's that's sort of what CSAIL is. 
Uh, yeah, I guess. Um, probably messaging me on Discord would be the best. <laughs> well, uh, apparently Allison Okamura's lab. <laughs> Oh, is this is this the hashtag networking that they tell me about in grad school that I should do? Making friends via national television and then figuring out that it's the same field. Whatever. Um, uh, yeah. Well, well then, in, the, in that case, it's probably not smart to publicly broadcast this. But whatever. I've already made an utter fool of myself on national television once. It doesn't matter if we keep doing this. God, what am I doing? What am I doing with my life? Not, not working. working. Not, not doing not research, research, apparently. Uh, <laughs> um, okay, so I, I guess there's a loop while we're waiting for P0 to not be 0. Um, so if it's equal to P... Or I could just do P0 is equal to 0, and if it's not, jump to loop, and then do other things, like I don't know, sleep one. Hello, Hello Osteophyte. Osteophyte. Um, yeah, yeah, thanks, yeah, for, thanks for, joining. for joining. Hey, I'm, I'm in the, the second, second floor. floor. Do, you, do you see how nice this place is? This this place's deposit came from Jeopardy money. Uh, and this is just the second floor. It's sweet and swag. Oh, man. But yeah, thanks for thanks for tuning in, Osteophyte. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, I do get recognized on campus. I also get recognized off campus, too. Um, Raj is dope. Uh, I'm, actually I'm actually going, going to, to hopefully visit some more college, college contestants. contestants. Um, like last, last summer, summer or, or last, last year, year, I visited Viraj, um, the Stanford Jeopardy competitor uh, from grad school visits. And then we had a spring break trip to DC, so I visited Gary, uh, who was the Navy finalist. Um, and he's, because he's in Annapolis, Maryland at the US Naval Academy. So I'm hoping this time to go down to Florida and meet some more people. But, uh, yeah. Um, the most weird time was I got recognized by my voice. Uh, wait, P0 is equal to zero in this one. Hmm, okay. I'll have to think about this some more. Um, the most, the weirdest time was that I got recognized by my voice. I went to go see a movie theater and, um, uh, it, was it was like a, like a play, play broadcast, broadcast, so there was an intermission period. And I was talking to one of my friends about the play, and then this woman just suddenly turns around and was like, Are you? And I was like, Yes. And then we talked. One, she was from out of town. So this is the equivalent of like me going to LA and expecting to see, like, I don't know, Matt Damon, right? Two, she recognized me by my voice, and like she kept. Uh, nudging her daughter, being like, is that, the, is that the Jeopardy girl? And her daughter was like, I watch Jeopardy every day. How am I supposed to remember, like, this one girl? But, like, it was bizarre. Um, I've gone out to dinner uh, in Boston proper uh, in, like, an Indian restaurant, and, like, people recognized me. It's, it's very weird. Um, yeah. Man, I don't know the next time I'm coming to... To Stanford, <laughs> but you're in a hard sell. You're you're doing a hard sell. It ran on the internet. Ah, <laughs> oh, boy. So it is zero. I don't know why. Okay, maybe maybe if I can just do this instead. So like, come on. Uh, wait, why is it freezing? Wait, why is it? Why did it freeze? Um, because there's not a slicks? I don't know. Freaking man. But, uh, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I do think that I, I made mistakes not leaving MIT. Um, but, like, I guess, like, part of the reason why I can get a conference paper out, um, like, freaking my first year is because I'm continuing the work that I did previously in her lab. And I do feel like, um, so like part of the reason why they say that you should move on to other labs is that like, oh, you've gotten a taste of what the research culture is like in this, in one place. But I jumped around from so many labs, I don't actually, like I actually feel for the first time in Daniela's lab, I'm like starting to, to get used to it. Um, also when I say Daniela, I'm talking about my, um, PhD advisor, Daniela Roos. Um, she's the director of CSAIL. You can, you can Google her for people who aren't in this like totally nerdy conversation. Um, people ask me for selfies. Uh, 
during the campus preview weekend, which is when all of the prospective freshmen come to visit um, MIT, uh, like I woke up from a nap once and heard like screaming, so I like looked outside, and then like next thing I knew, I had five cameras in my face asking for selfies. So that was weird. <laughs> Man, I just, you know, I just do my thing. Memes. <sighs> I only worked in Daniela's lab my um, last year uh, for my, like, senior year. I had done most of my research in um, Professor John Hart's lab in, uh, whatchamacallit, Mechie doing sort of like uh, microfabrication things. Um, geez, why is it? Uh, P0. Wait, so it's currently... Wait, I'm really confused what this thing works. Oh, if, oh, so maybe this should be plus because I'm, I'm waiting for it not to be zero. Okay. Is it, is it really the case that it's not good for applying for faculty positions? Like, I heard that... Oh, whatever. Oh, interesting. Uh, so that's a jump in a loop. Um... I don't know, let's just slap a sleep one in here. Wait. Yeah, John Hart. Um, I think there's multiple hearts. Oh yeah, I know Bettany. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she's cool. Ah. it's that bad for applying to faculty positions but i don't know what do i know i'm just uh oh okay hold on um oh sweet that actually worked okay 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 cool uh except the meter out is not super happy but um and then so if i just did this uh Okay, so I need a sleep one in there, I guess. I guess I'll do that. Um, okay, so if it's not that, then I'll move P0. Or I, I guess I can keep it there. Um, so move 10 to P1. Okay, so that means I've done the data. Um, and now... Um, do something like clear out clear and reset something like that I don't know Beth Bethany that well um, somewhat frowned upon when it comes to applying for faculty positions well I mean there's still the postdoc period in between right um, I don't think I'm smart enough to apply straight from uh, what's it Grad school to faculty. Whatever, man. I don't know. That's so far. I'm just trying to survive the PhD. My my current plan. So part of the reason why it was sort of hectic um, my senior year was that I I didn't know whether I wanted to go to industry or stay in academia until like October, which is ridiculously late. Um, because I had a I had a return offer from Apple, so I would be doing stuff like this, right? Uh, and I did really like the work. Um, ultimately, I decided to go to academia because, like, I figured it's a lot easier to go academia to um, industry, especially with like a PhD. It's it's sort of hard to argue with. And then also, um, I got the sense that I would learn more things, right? Like, I would still be able to take in like explore more rather than just like focusing on making one product um but uh yeah i, I did really enjoy it at apple <laughs> i guess i'm playing like job simulator here 
Far Fargman just subscribed. Um, thank you very much. I do really appreciate it. Uh, I think I said this a bit earlier, but I will have... Um, on Sundays, I stream CMS Power Hour, uh, Comparative Media Studies Power Hour, with my friend Mahitabel, where we do analysis of video games. Um, and so she's very artsy, she does comic book drawings. Uh, so I'm asking her to make some custom emojis. Um, so hopefully those will come out. Thank you for subscribing, I do appreciate it. <laughs> ah, man. John R. Yeah, yeah, I know all of these people. Um, Wow. <laughs> Do I, I got famous people, apparently. Like, extra tricky, and um, I don't know how to pronounce your username, Z1. Sorry. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, so I guess that's how you know extra tricky. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, the 6,000 bet in that spot. What was I even thinking? I don't... Remember, uh, go big or go home. I don't, I don't really remember. Um, I think I was doing the math and I was expecting, I don't even remember the scores. What is, uh, oh, I don't even remember the scores. Let me, let me open up Reddit really quick. Uh, God, 6,000 bet. Oh my god, 134 comments. I'm not even logging into Reddit. It's like I probably have a lot of people to respond to. Well, that's why all the all the scrub lords should come over here and then I can respond to them via chat. Okay. God, what was even this? Oh, it doesn't say what the scores were before. <laughs> Lily, by betting $6,000, gave her chance at a possible win if everyone missed. Thank you. Um, oh, oh, Jboard will have it. Jboard TV. God, I'm. <sighs> God, oh, three pages of discussion. Here we go. Um, seventy-two hundred, ninety-two hundred, and sixty-eight hundred. I think I was. Um... <laughs> I don't know. I'll freaking know. Uh. I think I was expecting like a bigger bet from Andrew and Austin, or I don't, I don't know. I can't give you a good answer. Um, this was sort of uh, extreme echo in my audio. Um, let me. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> I thought I got rid of the audio. Um, I thought I got rid of the echo in my audio. I'm not gonna fix it. Um, sorry. I think I will ask people's help. Like, now that there's so many people who are experienced with Twitch, can you, like, give me some advice for uh, how to fix all of these audio and bitrate streams? Because, one, I'm pretty sure that um, Comcast is throttling my bandwidth because sometimes my, like, the, the vid visual will just stop for no reason whatsoever. And, um,. Yeah, like yeah, this echo thing. I thought I fixed it, but... Ah. Thank you, Inexhaustible Feel. I do appreciate that. Uh, let's see. Applying to PhD program for EECS this year. Do you have any advice? Um, I guess I'll respond also to um, Chariot first and be like... Cool! We should, like, message privately on Discord or something and then we'll figure it out. I have a guess uh, who to who you are, but I don't think it's right. We'll see. We'll see. Um, um, applying to a PhD to program for EECS this, this year. Do you have any advice? Uh, so, so I think I in think order of importance, importance, it goes like, like um, statement, statement of purpose, purpose rec letters, letters grades, grades, and GRE, GRE is at the bottom. bottom. Like, just, like, don't, just don't worry about the new GRE. GRE. Uh, it's, basically it's basically more of like more an like English, English test, test, to be quite honest. Let's see. Uh, so, so it's sort of hard because, like, hard because like when you're applying, you're applying your senior, senior year, year because your rec letters are sort of people who have like done research with you and uh, like can can testify to that. Um, and uh, so, um, yeah. So those are the people who you're you're trying to ask for. Uh, I also had good grades. Um, 
and I had done quite a bit of research. Uh, the Statement of Purpose, I really recommend looking up um, Philip Guo's blog uh, to, to get some tips about how to write it. Um, I'm currently doing fellowship apps right now. Thank God I've got all of them submitted. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't know. This is not super helpful. I also don't really know who you are, so it's harder to give better advice. Maybe Chiriot can give you advice, because clearly they know more about like the academia than I do, because it's just like, oh my god. See, I'm having all these anxieties of like, did I shoot myself in the foot for for like staying at MIT, right? And then like, I could have gone to hashtag the promised land, Bay Area, but whatever. Okay. Sorry, I really don't know how to fix the echo problem. Um, I would definitely appreciate people helping me out and telling me what to do, like having like a test stream. Um, I guess I should say now that there's more people here, uh, I am going to be gone all of next week, including starting from Friday night to next Sunday night. So there's not going to be streams for a while, basically all of that Thanksgiving break. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll still stream on Thursday. I'll try to get Mahitabel to do another CMS Power Hour. Uh, I'll write that down. Uh, Mahitabel Thursday CMS Power Hour. Just so that like the new subscribers can you can get um, some idea of uh, what kind of content I stream, and then you guys can all like unfollow me once you realize how lame and boring all this content is. Ah oh, man. Um, I got into uh. Stanford Mechie, Mechie um, um, Carnegie Mellon, Mellon Robotics, Robotics Institute, Institute. Uh, uh, MIT, MIT, both Mechie both and Mechie Eeks. And I did not I get did into not Harvard. Harvard. Um, um, yeah, that's, that's that was my thing. thing. Um, um, yeah. yeah, I don't I remember don't Sean, Sean the blonde boy from, from Allison's, Allison's group. group. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> okay, so, so moving to P1. So, so I get all the data out here, and then P0 does tell me. Uh, which one to go to. So, okay. If I could store which port to move into, that would be nice, but I can't. Hmm. Okay. Um, I'm going to have a TCP compare P0 um, to... What is it? Uh, 10? Okay, so then I'll use the plus minuses of like move the result. So, oh shoot, I need to get. Oh, I need to get the. No, 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 I could keep going until there's a zero. Uh, as long as there's no zeros in the data, I'll be fine. So this would be a uh, loop until hit a zero. And then, um, so let's see. So if it's more than this, uh, move. What is this? X0 to X3. If it's minus, move X0 to X1. And if it's not, um, move X0 to X2. And then I have like, do a check here. Okay. <laughs> I am not on the UC Berkeley memes uh, for edgy teens. I actually chose I MIT Eeks over Mechie. Mechie. Um, um, when it came down to it, I was I was deciding between professors. Uh, even though I really liked all of the research that was being done at Robotics Institute, I didn't really feel like there was a single professor that I was super excited about. Um, the closest one was Howie Chosett's group. Uh, and let's see. Oh, I'm blanking on his name right now. There's another one who does... It's like it's Linder like Green, Green or something. Or That's not right, but he does rovers and like went into the Atacama Desert. Um, and then there was one more professor. It's been a long time. Uh, Carmel Majidi in the Mechie department at Carnegie Mellon was also super interesting. Um, so yeah, I, I, I didn't, I still didn't think there was like one professor that I was super interested in. Stanford, I was interested in Mark Kukowski, um, Allison Okamura, and Steve Collins. Um, MIT, I was interested in Daniela, Daniela Roos, um, uh, Harry Asada, and uh, Stephanie Mueller, Russ Tedrick. So then when it came down to it, 
Um, um, MIT had more professors I was interested in. Uh, Stanford's course-based master scared me off, um, and not being able to guarantee... I, I think I would have liked Mark Kukowski's lab quite a bit. Um, I think I would also like Laos and Okamore. Like, they're all good. Like, like, you know, you can only pick so many people. Whatever. So, I chose, um, MIT based on that because it was, like, flexible. Of like which professors to go to, and I chose MIT Eeks over MIT Meki because you only take four classes for Eeks and no quals. So, yep. Uh, yeah, I just thought I mentioned some, but man, Chiriot, you're like really trying to hardcore recruit me. <laughs> Man. I don't know if don't it's know smart if it's to be smart talking about like about my graduate students on this public forum, forum but, but I don't know. I, don't I guess know. if people guess are people snooping are in super hard, hard. Well, there's not much I can do. You know, you know that's one thing that you thing learn, that you learn about. about. I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch, switch to, to solitaire, solitaire because I can't talk can't and think at the same time. Um. Wow, what was I even saying? Like that's one thing about being in the public eye is that you're just kind of like. Everything I do is under a microscope now, I guess, you know? Uh, and you really just don't have much control about this. I talk a lot about this in my presentation about mimetic nanofame. Um, yeah, I don't... Well, like, you know, is it smart to be talking about, like, admissions decisions on this forum? Probably not. I can probably answer that. Uh, let's do a new game. I don't know what I was doing with this one. Yeah, you have to pass your classes. You have to get an A in most of classes, and you do have to give like a research presentation, but there's no quals. Um, I, w I was just personally pretty done with classes. I really, I'm loving being a grad student and like the sheer amount of flexibility in taking things. Yeah, go, don't, you're gonna tell everybody that, uh, you know, I suck and um, yeah. <laughs> Fools no. <laughs> but right, like, that, that's, that's, that's the most I can do, you know? Like, people have already found my email and are, are spamming it. I didn't hide it super much, like, granted, but, like, it's a little weird. Um, the first time I was on television, people actually asked uh, for money. They were like, hey, I want to take this um, app programming thing. Give me money. It's weird. Um... Like, literally random. So. Statement of purpose. Uh, yikes. Chiriot, that's pretty yikesy. Uh, <laughs> um, let me actually look up Philip Guo. Um, he's honestly a lifesaver. Um, this one. Uh, I really recommend reading his blog. Um, it's, like, it's like pretty, pretty interesting, interesting. Uh, especially because since he's been blogging since he was an undergrad, I think, uh, it's just like a really good description of like how the process goes. Um, I also recommend his book, where is it? Uh, uh, anyways, I'm not going to find it. Um, PhD Grind, uh, which is interesting. Yes, I have, um, let me pull up my mimetic nanofame presentation. Um, so, um, so I did comparative media, media studies, studies as a, as a uh, minor, minor, and I was yeah, pretty into it. it. Um, uh, so, so, I mean, this is, I mean, this like, is how I gave this presentation. This is why I have, like, this stream, because I'm interested in media in general. Um, so, let me look on it. Uh, I think it's slide 21? No, um... Uh, slide 27, okay. I don't think publications are completely necessary. Um, it's really research experience that's pretty key. Uh, I also don't really know how they judge grades, to be honest. Um, like, I've heard that, like, good grades are better, but I don't really know what that means, right? Like... Yeah. Because, yeah. um, like, like, I think they, think they mostly, mostly care about, about your about research experience, experience, and as long as you're, as you're able, able to demonstrate, to demonstrate that, that in some way, I think, um, they might be, they might be more, more lenient more about GPA, GPA and stuff like that. Like that. 
but I'm not an admissions committee person. I'm <laughs> like, to be quite honest, like during my admissions thing, I really screwed up. Like, I didn't know where I was going to apply. I, I figured out where I was going to apply the day that I took the GRE because you need to put down like uh, what schools you want to send your scores to to send money. Um, uh, I would be. <laughs> So, okay, so, actually, it's actually, really cool that you mentioned this, because I've actually, I've actually written, written um, about, about... Oh, man, where is it? Uh, I've, I've, I've written, written about, about uh, speedrunning uh, communities, speed because, because I was so I was confused so by Extra Tricky, tricky and, like, and really fascinated, fascinated by this community that I didn't know anything about. So I ended up so writing this for, like, a final project, project and, like, and, like my, actual my actual dream, dream like, ignore robotics aside, aside for a second, like, my actual dream is to become, like, a video game studies researcher and study, like, internet cultures and all of these things. Um, right now, I'm gonna, like, aim a little bit lower and, like, moonlight and in my spare time, like, do these video game studies research. And I really want to submit this to, like, uh, the DIGRA Digital Something Games Research Association and, like, have a conference paper in video game studies. And I have also, like, all of these plans of, like, maybe sneak into HCI research and do, um, video game studies, but, like, have it count as HCI research so I can have it count towards my thesis. Uh, and Taskbot in particular is one of the things that I'm, like, really excited about. Let me, let me put this, um, final paper up. Um, I don't know how good I am at coding. Uh, I would, like, I'm not, like, freaking extra tricky who, like, figured out the whole RNG manipulation, um, for, uh, what was it? Like the thing where you don't have to like run around the grass and you can just get like a needle ran really quickly. Yeah. I I would trust Chiriot more. I'm sorry. I really don't know much. Apparently they're like an older PhD student. <sighs> Who is yelling at me for my choices in life? I don't know. Ugh. I feel like that's most of grad school is just feeling bad about your choices. I don't even. I feel like this is a more winnable position. Uh, except, like, I have this stuck here. Where's the other Joel? One. Oh. Okay. Man. It's, it's too real, so I have to move over to freaking Solitaire. It's more my speed. I think I was talking about this when there was nobody on the stream, but I actually uh, played this in the waiting room at Jeopardy. Um, I think Churiot is a PhD student at Stanford, specifically in Allison Okamura's lab. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, so I guess oh, we must so have talked at the talk. at the visit weekend. That's how you remember me. Oops. Uh, I'm sorry I don't remember you. I was, yeah. <laughs> I didn't have a publication. Um, Like, I got a publication, and I was, like, freaking fifth author out of ten um, for some of the work I did in John Hart's lab, but I didn't have a, uh, I'm not, I don't, rem I don't remember if that was done by the time I was applying to things. Um, yeah. Man. A lot of times for Taskbot, the... Yeah. Yeah. Um, um man, man, the, the philosophy. philosophy. Yeah, dude, yeah, I love comparative media, media studies. studies. Like, like <sighs> it's, it's someone, someone once told me told that, that, that um, um I mean, even part of this game is that, like, you're so lucky that your interests coincide with the job market. I am literally like programming for fun, right? And like wiring things up. And the interest in comparative media studies is honestly the first time that that hasn't been the case, where my interests don't align with the job market. And I think I can be pretty successful in robotics, so it's really hard for me to be like, you know, 
YOLO and uh, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. And it, it's also sort of like such a major career shift that like I would I would love to do it, but it's so risky and I don't think I can take it. Um, yeah, I thought I saw the um, speed run about uh, Brain Age. I thought that was the coolest thing. Yeah. <laughs> Am I sad that Senior House shut down? Oh my freaking god. Uh, so, for people who are not up with MIT, there's the thing about dorms being able to have culture. Um, so one of the dorms in particular was called Senior House, and uh, yeah, I don't really know what to say. I was involved in student government, and I don't really want to talk about it, and I think we'll just leave it at that. <laughs> Man. Yeah. Hey, Doc. Hey, Doc. Yeah. Yeah. This is it's crazy. It's because of the freaking Jeopardy episode. I talked about Twitch, um, in so many words on on Jeopardy. So so now we got a whole bunch of people, including some famous people apparently, and people who are yelling at me for my life choices in research. Uh, uh, dying. But yeah, it's it's really hard. I I honestly want to tear up anytime I pass by a senior house. Um, and the other grad student, like, I can't fault the other grad students because literally the grad housing in senior house is $700 a month. Like, I live in a closet and I'm paying $900 a month. It's crazy. But, you know, they, they say, like, they're not going after East Campus and, like, the other stuff. And it's, it's very hard for me to, to believe that. Um... Yeah, I'm not. I want to donate. I want to donate to MIT, but I, I can't see myself donating in the near future just because of this. Like, I, I, I love MIT, but it's it's just I can't believe they're doing this. Uh, yep. Doc Doc is a OG person. Um, thank you Cougar Heart for watching the episode. Yeah. What, what did I do? I spent two days in LA just like answering trivia questions. And also saying also dumb say things, dumb things uh, uh, for shout-outs for to shout -outs my, my friends, friends, right? Like, I don't like, think I don't that's... Think that's... <laughs> you, you the man you now, the man dog, now, Z1. Dog. <laughs> oh, boy. What am I even doing? Um, not winning Shenzhen Solidaire. Uh, I'm going to refresh until I get an easy board. <laughs> uh, Yes, um, so, my uh, um, so my parents are, are uh, neuroscientists, neuroscientists. Um, so they study, um, so they study Parkinson's, Parkinson's disease, and I, I did sort of grow up in their lab from a young age, um, but I didn't really get into engineering until I joined my high school robotics team. Um, I, I knew I kind of liked to build stuff. Uh, since my parents are neuro are like biologists, they didn't really know how to get like started. Um, I remember looking at like electronics tutorials online and like buying myself a resistor kit. Um, I also learned like coding. But then it wasn't until my high school robotics team um, first FRC 2415 for any FRC nerds out there. Um, that I really started getting involved and like I really liked coding so I thought like oh I'm gonna do programming and like do uh, eeks because like combining the electric and the computer science but the more time I spent at MIT the more I realized like hey I actually like this mechanical part a lot more um, I actually went away from robotics because I was like no I did this in high school I'm not gonna keep doing it and now I'm back and doing this full time and I'm considering my life choices <laughs> uh, the, the fame closet um, <laughs> no, 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 man. Like, uh, it's, am I famous? I guess. I don't know. It seems weird. Like, I don't know. Cause like, this is also sort of like the definitely like famous thrust upon you and like, who knows what this means. Like please, please, onegaishimasu. Like read my um, mimetic nanofame presentation because it's like, what does fame even mean, right? Like I know if I'm famous to like the hundred, like, hundred and fifty friends plus like fifteen family, but now you're telling me like an episode is watched by nine million people, right? Like what does that even mean? Like if you look at, uh, let me let me pull this up. Come on, load. 
Load, load, load. Do, do, do. So I'm going on to Google Trends right now, and I'll, I'll show you this graph. Can you guess when my episodes are? Like, just looking at this graph, it's like kind of disgusting. God. People grow up in such a scientific background. I think, um, yeah, it's, it's interesting because it's also definitely like the ivory tower is really true. Um, T.L. Taylor, uh, who was uh, my professor for games and culture, uh, she actually went to a community college first. Um, and she talked about her experiences about like being in academia with this idea. Um, I guess, I guess growing, up growing up in a science in background. A science background. Okay, so I, I guess so first I, things I, first is that it took me a really long really time long to realize time how weird of an environment, environment uh, uh, academia, academia is, is, right? Like, right. The, standard the standard is that, is that it's, it's like a nine to five, five job, job and like, like um, um, you know, you, you know your, work your work is not necessarily your passion, passion but like, for me growing up with scientist parents, it was really standard for me to like, bum around the lab while they were, you know, finishing stuff up or like, you know, talking to students and things like that. And I didn't find it anything weird. Um, there's actually pictures of me like harassing the grad students, like, you know, like poking them and like playing with glove balloons. Um, I mean, I think the, the other thing was that I saw um, my mom and dad actually work together in the same lab. Like, um, you know, they like one person sort of handles more of the day-to-day -day functions, the other person is handling more of the grant writing. Um, and it's, it's uh, that sort of inspired me in some sense, because it's like, you know, being a scientist is like a totally normal thing to do. Um, and I think it also came with like a very analytical approach to things. Um, my roommates give me a lot of crap for like, you know, just jumping in jumping and like in analyzing things. things. Um, they call me an analysis monster, which is sort of true. I don't know. Um, I guess like for me, I'm, I'm more interested in like your your blue collar background because I'm like I don't really know. Right, like like you're asking me like what, what's it like to grow up with parents, but like you know how when you do stuff and you don't know it's weird until you do it with your friends and then you're like why are you doing this and you're like oh all my family did it so I I don't really know how it's different. I mean, I, I definitely look back and I see, like, I have a ton of privilege, right? Like, coming up in an academic environment, if I have questions about how, like, the PhD works, I ask my parents. Um, from a young, like, they very valued education, um, so they, like, spent a lot of time, a lot of money ensuring that I had, like, extracurriculars like robotics in high school, like, that's insane, you know? Um, or like having research experiences in high school. I think that's crazy. But like all of this comes from having parents who are in the science community and sort of know how it works. Um, even if it's a different field like neuroscience. So I don't know. Uh, keep on going down the list. So I, I mean, I'm interested in hearing more about like stories about you because like, I, one thing that I like about MIT is that the environment of people is, um, definitely skewing more towards like lower middle class rather than upper middle class is with the impression I get of say like Harvard, you know? Um, so I have actually, you know, it's a little bit cliche to say at this point, but I have like checked my privilege at like several points where it's like, I didn't realize how lucky I was to have this scientific background, especially in the, such a weird environment like academia, right? For most people, you, you go to high school for, and then 18 years and then you're done, right? But then, like, the implication of there's still this weird thing where you're paid to, like, work on hard problems that we don't know the answers to every day. But, yeah. Um, okay, going down the list. You're famous at Berkeley. I don't really know how to make of, make of this. Um, at this point, like, the spiciest meme lord is such a, um, like, everyone says it to me at this point that it's like, I, I forgot why this is funny. <laughs> Uh, but I guess, like, people still get a kick out of it, so I'm glad that they do. <laughs> um, is Austin as obnoxious in person as he appears on TV? So, I, I just talked to this with one of my friends. Um, 
like when you got to like, we got to know everybody in the in the green room like you could just sort of chat and hang out and stuff um and everybody's sort of like thrust into the situation and don't really know what they're doing um but it was sort of interesting this time because definitely there was like this switch of like everyone's game face was on even though like we were so much more relaxed than the college tournament because everybody had done this before um so for Austin, keep in mind that when we ran into him, we didn't know anything about him. It was just like, hey, there's this guy. You've never seen him before. He's won 12 games and $400,000. And everybody was just like, okay, you know. Uh, what was the question? Is he as obnoxious in person? So so we just kind of like talked. Um, so like one thing I remembered is that I was suggesting in the, in the green room. I was like, hey, let's watch Moulin Rouge. And Austin was like, oh, if we watch Moulin Rouge, I'm going to cry. Just like straight up. And so that was amusing. Um, I get the main sense from Austin. This is probably the fairest thing to say is that uh, if he's friends with you, he's going to be like super loyal and one of the best friends you've ever had. If you if you're not friends with him, he's gonna just come off as sort of like arrogant and jerkish, um, because like he he thinks he's good and in the trivia cases he is good, right? Um, so definitely like probably the most illustrative thing about this is that after. Um, he won this he game won this that game just played. played. They do a post-game interview so that they can get some B-roll footage. And... <laughs> I don't think that interview is going to come to light because he was talking about things like, oh, I'm going to buy a whole car full of meth. You know? And it was just, like, so ridiculous. And uh, so pompous, like, saying, like, oh, I don't even remember the other people who I played against in my normal games. Um, and... Uh, but then, like, at the end of all of this, after saying these, like, pretty jerkish statements, he sort of ended off with this, like, very heartfelt tribute to one of his friends who had passed away. And it was, like, you could tell he cared a lot, right? So, I don't know. I also feel weird about saying, like, how do people look on TV versus how they are, um, in person. Because, like, a ton of people made these same snap judgments of me. And I thought they were hilarious because they were so petty. You know, like, people were just, like, guessing who I was, like, making fun of the fact that I was rolling up my sleeves. And I was like, who cares, right? Like, I'm me. You don't know who I am. You've watched 20 minutes of edited television. Like, huge emphasis on the edited part that people don't seem to understand that this thing is not even happening live, for example. Um, so, I don't know. I, I always, I'm trying to... I think after being on Jeopardy, I think it's at least gotten me more empathy and given me more, like, uh, you know, uh, benefit of the doubt for people. But yeah, yeah, the car full of meth thing, like, that, that, that entire interview is never going to get aired. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Uh, who are some of my computer science idols? Yeah, he, uh, I... I got some bar got recommendations, some bar recommendations for, uh, for Cambridge, which I'm actually going to check out uh, from Austin. Um, yeah, he said there's a really good cocktail bar. Um, part of the things that was in that like raunchy interview that's never going to get aired is they asked him, oh, how did you prepare for this last night? And he's like, last night I drank uh, penicillin and Negroni and then like went on this like huge long list of drinks because he's a bartender, right? And then so like I eventually looked up some of them because I didn't know like a penicillin was a drink. And I found out that's like this whiskey and um, honey mixture. It sounds really good. Uh, let's see. Who are some of my computer science idols? I'm not really a computer scientist. Um, I guess like idols in general. <laughs> I guess like maybe this is a sign that I've kind of gone in too deep into research because I do think about like uh, the other cool robotics people and I'm like, wow, they do cool research, right? Like Mark Kukowski, uh definitely does like cool research. I found out the other day that the guy who write, writes PhD comics uh, actually graduated from Mark's lab and I thought that was really nifty. Um, or like even that like Russ Tedrick, um, who I worked with over the summer. And I was like, wow, he's such a big name. Um, so I don't, I think those are my idols right now. A car full of mess is very ambitious. <laughs> Ah oh, man, oh, I man. that interview was so much. It's never gonna air. <laughs> you heard it here, exclusive content on Rippin' Pepperinos. Alert the tabloids. Um uh, I don't let's see. 
Okay. Um. I'm not sure. I I think like so. There's this concept in at least in uh, comparative media studies, or at least probably like humanities in general, of this idea of like scientism, where it's this I this narrative that we tell ourselves that society is continually going to progress, right? Like scientific progress is always up and to the right. And I think and that's I think sort of that's something sort of that the, something the, the public has the public bought into more, and also the idea that, like, idea science is going to fix everything, everything. Which, is which is also interesting also because you're because seeing a lot more science lot skepticism. More science skepticism. Like, I feel like the, the um, um, anti-vax, anti-vax things, things are, like, a like pretty clear like example of it, or, like, all of the climate all change all deniers, deniers, to be quite honest. Quite honest. Right, like, right, like we we accept we that accept the that narrative, narrative of science, science but we don't, we don't accept it when accept it's, it when it's uh, uh, sort of like contradicting our initial beliefs. beliefs. So, something so something weird, weird is really going on. Um, let's see. Things emailed or that really hurt my feelings. Um, <laughs> this is gonna sound really dumb, but uh, so I read this article. I'm just putting all the links in. Oops. Let's see. Wow. wow. You you change one change spelling one mistake, you get a lot of different results. So I read this article, and I was really scared. Um, I was going to get this level of harassment. Uh, but then, uh, like, then, when my like, first when negative my first comment negative came up on uh, on Reddit, I was like really excited because it just seemed like so petty to me. Um, that uh, I was like, man, you know, like these people have nothing better to do with their time. And then I just found it hilarious from then on out. So the one comment that got under my skin was that people um, said that I was clapping for myself for the daily double. Um, because I thought that was the polite thing to do, right? Of like, you're applauding with people, you're not above them. But apparently it means totally the opposite thing. It means like, oh, I'm like self-congratulating myself. And that's the only one that got under my skin because um, it wasn't intentional. Like all the other things, like jumping around the board and stuff like that, those people can like go screw themselves because like that's whatever, it's the game. Um, but yeah, that, w- that was the only one that got under my skin. Uh... Science in general science seems to me. I, I agree with I, that. I, agree with I, I definitely that. agree that like science yeah, journalism science is a lot better, is a lot better. Um, um, and that people are more aware, more aware, right? Like right. you see like, robots in the robots news, like uh, uh, like Boston, Boston Dynamics was big dogs, big dogs, and like you know people know about that and are like, dude, that's so cool. That's so cool. Um, yeah, I'll agree with that. Uh, dress code on Jeopardy. Yes, um, they explicitly say no jeans, just straight up. Uh, you have to be in like business um and they like specify what that means for people um but like yeah basically the dress code that you see something classier uh so that's also why like the college tournament's sort of weird because they really want to sell the college aspect because people are like get really invested in it it's the same reason why like college um football is sort of a thing like people identify with the school like i went to this school i have an identity with it which can then be exploited for things like Jeopardy, right? Like, oh, I know the Navy, like, I'll cheer the Navy kid on. So, uh, do I think that sexism, science in general does seem to make for better or worse, yeah. Sexism is a pretty rampant thing in academia, especially engineering. Um, so the worst experience I had in terms of sexism came from my high school robotics team where I was the only girl on the build and programming team. And every time like a girl tried to join, they were sort of like put off by how incredibly sexist everything was uh, and joined the business team. I haven't had an experience like that in like college or any, or even an industry, even when I have been the only woman there. Um, so I can't tell like maybe if I join, like worked at a company full time, I would see it more. But uh, as it currently stands, I, I don't. This is this is not to minimize what other people are going through. But like for me personally, I haven't experienced that much. Um, but just like based even on like how much Hollywood is imploding right now, or like, you know. Um, so so this is interesting. Is that like all of the the discussion about like Hollywood right now is also sort of people are talking about. Uh, how like academia has their open secrets too right like i can name you right now like a professor who like i've heard rumored that they can't take on female undergraduates uh to work with them 
because they're like sketchy. Um, but like, I wouldn't say that. But like, maybe these secrets are coming to light. I don't know. <laughs> that that was pretty good. Yeah, I did. They they have those in um one of the malls in Boston. And when I first saw this, I was like really freaked out. I was like, what the crap is this like security bot doing here? Uh, and then I read the memes about suicidal security bot. Um, oh really? Does uh Canada not really have college loyalty? Because I don't know. Like I I see a lot of people from Waterloo because of the co-ops. Um. And, and McGill, McGill, the people from McGill seem pretty McGill proud. Uh, I can't really name any other. <laughs> um, um, I mean, are sports are a big sports thing, a big thing in, uh, uh, in, Can in Canada? Canada. Like, like, do you really care about how your hockey team does? I know that the Cornell hockey Cornell team really cares about how they do. How they do. Um, because I think that the loyalty to the school is really tied in with that. Um, especially since I'm from Atlanta originally. Uh, football. <laughs> Football's big. How do I feel do I about, feel about I think they're, they're dumb, dumb. <laughs> right? Like, right? Like, possession of a, possession of a meme is meme sort of interesting. If you look at my Mimetic Nanofame presentation, presentation, it's this, this whole in-group, out-group out dynamic, out dynamic, dynamic, and that, like, and that, like you know, you know you think you have ownership over a meme. Like, I don't even have ownership over my image. Like, people can say whatever they want about, like, what they think my political beliefs are. But, um, I, I think it's really dumb. There's already this good screenshot, uh, man, where, where was that? Where did I put that? Um, I had the r slash Donald thing, where was it? Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, here. Um, slide 33. Uh, I'll just paste this in. Side 33, uh, how does everyone know she is a Trump supporter? <laughs> uh, going back to here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, it's yeah, actually pretty funny. Um, funny. Um, I was doing I was a, doing a, a paper, paper on Pikmin, on Pikmin um, and I was arguing that it was like kind of furthering kind of ideas, ideas of um, um, colonial imperialism. imperialism, and then I actually, and I actually went on Stormfront, went on Stormfront, Stormfront, and they were Stormfront, Stormfront was using was Pikmin as a guide for why races should be separate, because they were like, you wouldn't send a red Pikmin to do a blue Pikmin job, and I was like, what the crap am I reading right now? And they were like, oh yes, the oh, Japanese, yes, the like, Japanese totally like, totally follow the follow same, the like, same, race like, politics as we do. And I was like, oh my freaking god. That was a lot. Was a um, lot. Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. oh boy. Oh, interesting. Like, uh, that, like, they, that, like, they prevented, prevented, like, harassment from happening. From happening. So like like I've said, um, at MIT the gender ratio is uh, pretty much 50/50 in nearly every discipline. Um, stuff like biology is more female. Uh, math, especially when you get into the more advanced classes, is more male. Um, but it, like I've had really positive experiences, but there have been reports of like bad interactions. Let me see if I can find this. Uh, I think it's. No, it's not this one. Gender report. Let me try to find this. Here we go. So, like, people do have bad experiences. Um, I personally have not had any, and I don't want to discount any. <laughs> you went to a tiny school, goodness. Man. Wait, but then who is Cornell playing against that they care so much about their hockey? I, I don't know. It's, I, I think that's funny. Um, I mean, I think it has something to do with probably like the more nationalistic tendencies of like uh, the U.S. in general, right? Like, I don't know. We care. We care about things. Uh, do this to this. I'm not sure why I did that because I want to. 
Yeah, I'm definitely not definitely. doing engineering. <laughs> I have not seen have pull not angry, seen birds. angry Birds. Yeah. I am Chinese, I am Chinese as well, also. As well, also. <laughs> I think you mean CS50, CS50 the, one the one true religion? Oh man. Oh, man. Math culture is kind of weird, kinda I'm not gonna weird. lie. Gonna lie. Of just like, just like people constantly, people constantly trying to one up each other. Each other. Especially for like freshmen who like haven't realized that they can uh, become a person outside of just like how big their uh, you know CS dick is or math dick is, but you know what you're gonna do. The one is here, and where's the green one? I'm just gonna keep refreshing until I get an easy board. <laughs> Well, it's getting close to midnight, so it's about the the one hour mark. Um, so I, I will probably close off the stream pretty soon, unless you guys have more questions and I can get baited into talking more about them. Oh boy, um, I'm just kind of slapping things down. Slap, slap, slap. Uh, two. Oh, it's Southern Polly. Hey, um, my, uh, the, the, the people on the robotics the team robotics went to Southern Poly. Uh, yeah, so I've actually yeah, been so there actually a couple there of times. Couple um, they were on the FSAE, on the FSAE team FSAE at Southern Poly. Uh, I don't know if you, uh, were involved in that at all. I didn't know they merged with Kennesaw. That's, that's, that's interesting. interesting. Yeah, I'm from Decatur, yeah, I'm from Decatur so, so, and my, my folks my are, um, uh, whatchamacallit, professors at Emory, so, yeah. Okay. Okay. That's so yikesy. So yikesy. The the Angry the, Birds, the birds thing. thing. Man. Yeah. I I just heard that I, I just um heard that, the postdoc that, uh, that I'm mainly postdoc working with is uh is from Cornell, is from Cornell. and so like he'll actually travel up to go to um what should I call it? Uh You know, the 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 games. The the hockey games. So um, I just browse. Um, I, just browse. Oh, I don't really I go don't on 4chan that much. I check know your I meme on a regular basis. basis. That's probably the <laughs> more accurate way of like, way of like. I know there's always like those flame wars about like, oh, they're just like a bunch of posers or whatever. Whatever, you're just all a bunch of like lonely people <laughs> posting on the internet. <laughs> no, it wouldn't. I mean, I think one thing that the, it's interesting that the media hasn't figured out yet is how, like, 4chan intentionally tries to troll and get reactions out of people. So, like, the the sheer fact that, um, oh, whatchamacallit, Pepe got into mainstream media, like, I don't understand. I guess, like, I understand on a theoretical level, I just don't understand on, like, a, a gut level of, like, how did this... What is this world? I mean, when the mainstream and the uh, traditional media collide, um, or mainstream and uh, counterculture media collide, this is how you get weird things like Scrub Lord saying, who's the spiciest meme lord on national television? Because, God. <laughs> I, I don't know what to say about like, I'm really, I'm really nervous that like I'm gonna be a professor somewhere, and then like, you know, that'll be the clip that the kiddos pass around. They'll be like, "Did you know that this happened? Like, wow, how out of dated and quaint is our professor?" I don't, I don't, I don't know what the the youths will talk about. Ah, <laughs> uh, man, that's a, uh, that's a lot. I didn't know anthropology really. Like, like, is it like kind of like, like, uh, like, like, like the uh, social Darwinism social things Darwinism that sort of happened? Sort of happened. Like, if you, uh, if you, uh, or I guess like probably guess, like, people probably are passing off, passing off, off um, um, like fake research as legit research, research I'm guessing. Research. I'm just sort of asking, yeah. Oh boy. Um, I don't, I think that was a mistake. Let's see. 
Yeah, I think that was definitely a mistake. Whatever. Yo, well. Uh, I don't know what that three would get me. Um, I mean, I just have buy bonds everywhere. And then moving this eight onto here, which gets this five. Out. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Oh, but that doesn't get me anything, because uh, now I'm stuck, I think. Okay. The... Okay. Okay. I don't really have much time to catch up on more social media, but that is good that um, the other threads... That it's not all just slash v slash. Like I mean, I don't know. Even don't like, know. The, like the 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 video game video one game seems like it gets very hive mindy. Very hive -mindy. Um, um, I pretty much only check Reddit for uh, uh, web comic web subreddits comic because, because I like because like, Gunner Creek none of them have like a really good comment really section, comment especially section, since, since um, Paranatural, Paranatural shut down theirs. Down so. theirs so. Mm. I have been to the Bay Area multiple, multiple times. times. Uh, I don't. Uh, I like Boston, I like a, lot Boston a lot better. I don't know. Everything's, everything's it's still expensive, it's still expensive but, it's but it's not as expensive, not as, expensive as out there, out and people there. aren't as people like, aren't as, like <laughs> Silicon Valley. <laughs> <laughs> My life goal, My life goal um, um, right now it's to right be a professor, a professor and like start and businesses like start on the businesses side, on the and side like and you know, you know, basically just basically build just cool build stuff. Cool stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Like the other like life the goal other would be to become goal, like a become CMS a professor CMS and like do nothing but video game studies. Oh, that's really interesting. Oh, that's really interesting. Um, um, the uh, the, uh, the no go topics. No -go topics. Um, there was this um, interesting was this seminar, seminar called seminar. like the Forbidden Research. Uh, let me pull this up. Um, so this was a so this really, was really interesting. interesting. Uh, oh, that also oh, that reminds also me of like, me of like um, um, uh, I, I was it this article? This article? Uh, I don't know if this is the sort of thing that you've been talking about. Yeah, that does sound like a return to like phrenology and stuff like that. Um, ever wanting to start a startup? Like that would be mostly as like a after effect as part of the um, uh, professorship. Like I think it would be cool if I had an idea, but I often find that the mentality in the Bay Area is like starting a startup just for the meme, basically, um, for lack of a better word. Like, I remember somebody, yeah, I remember somebody literally, literally saying literally to me, saying like, to uh, you have to have your trial have startup before start your actual before startup. Your and I was just thinking, like, you completely, completely, like, I feel like you're missing the point like on this. So. This, so. Um, uh, let's, see. let's see. Creepy comments about my looks. I never got street harassed before. Um, but, like, again, the Big Tits for 600 article should, like, talk about that. Um, um, what's really bizarre what's to me really now is that I haven't been getting any been getting hate, hate comments, comments uh, uh, in this round of in Jeopardy, round of Jeopardy which, which is bizarre to me because I was really preparing for them. I even had a stream where I was like looking for them, and then everyone was so nice. Like, Reddit right now is just like a bunch of like people cheering me on, and I honestly don't know how to handle this because I'm so used to like. The spiky, the spiky exterior, exterior and I'm like not really sure what to do when like people are being nice to me. <laughs> Especially on the internet, you know? Um, okay, I think I'm solving this one too. My Western culture. Huh. Man, that, that does sound really weird. I 
mean, I think it's, I, I do think it's interesting about like how you said that there's like no go topics, um, because. I guess it is why like the forbidden research thing is even a thing because like one of the topics they talked about is um, we can get robots more realistic, right? Is it ethical to make like robots that look like children and then like allow pedophiles to have sex with them? And like that's definitely like a taboo topic, but that's one of the things that they talked about on this like forbidden research conference. Um, and I'm like, I have no idea how to answer this ethical question at all. But it was like, yeah. So I, I, I figured that's probably what you're talking about when you're uh, saying the uh, like no-go topics. I don't know, especially because like those classes are more discussion-based, you know. Like one of the things interesting about all of the game studies classes that I've been in is that just, they've just like assumed that like you know GamerGate is bad, which I think it's bad because like. It's literally contributing to the harassment of some of my colleagues and coworkers, right? Because of like quote some like feminist agenda. Like that seems super dumb. But um, like I don't know what it must feel like to like like suppose you're a person who does support GamerGate and you're like sitting in those classes and they're like, um, I don't know, like the dialogue thing. But yeah. <laughs> I already, I already developed it. You don't even know don't like all the harassment, all the harassment that I got. That I got. Man. Man. <laughs> you don't need to tell me about being me like, about being like, like, like fierce, on fierce on the internet. I'm just happy, I'm just happy, that, like, happy that like I just got unexpected, just got unexpected like, like, like a lot more, a lot more nice, comments. nice comments. Like even the old like, ladies the old on ladies the, uh, the uh, some of the TV of forums where they're just like. I don't like her because like she, doesn't she doesn't play the game how I want it to be. They were even nice they to me, nice and I was like, oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's extremely That's unfortunate, extremely unfortunate that, that they don't that know that our species know started, started in Africa. Africa. Um, it reminds me of the thing about like the Charlestown shooter, where they were like, I searched on Google for black on white violence, and then I found so many results about it. Well, it's because like, you know, when for those search terms, the only people searching those terms are like looking for their biases to be confirmed. And that's actually like, I don't know, that's, that's really scary that like your students don't, don't know that. Yeah. Uh, more male friends. I don't know why this is relevant. <laughs> I guess this is like an AMA. <laughs> Uh... <laughs> Thanks, Espresso Dan. Thanks, Espresso Dan. So the so it was like hard was because like I can't like talk, can't about talk about Twitch or Twitch like or say or the name Shenzhen IO, and I, I mean like I'm glad I mean, that people like, recognize. That people <laughs> oh man. I, I haven't checked the I haven't checked thread because I've just thread, been like. Playing uh, video games, but um, apparently somebody thought I was talking about Factorio, which was another good guess. I haven't played Factorio yet. Um, that's definitely on my list. I was surprised to find out that it's still not in be out of beta, because like I don't know, that game seems like it's been out for a while. Uh, what am I doing? I think I screwed up. I was wanting to get this buy bun. Um, I mean, so that go that goes back to like the scientism thing, right? Like of like you choose to disbelieve facts when they don't square away with your established reality. I don't, I don't know. Literally, like like the like in it's an inconvenient truth. I don't know. Um, more uh, male friends. More close friends is male. Um, I have definitely gotten racist comments. Are you kidding me? Like, obviously, it's the internet. Uh, one of the search terms I was looking for for like mean comments was just like straight up like chink, you know? And I did get some of those. I was like, wow, screw you. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I'm not worried about the thick skin. It's so it's it's like the disarm him with smiles, right? Like so that's why it was more disorienting of like getting nice comments on the internet. I was like, whoa. <laughs> um, 
gross. gross. Uh, that's really gross. Yeah, that's the really Neanderthal, gross. Neanderthal humanity Neanderthal thing. Humanity. I mean, I find it I mean, I find really it great really that, great like, that, um, like, there is a lot of support, lot of support. Uh, and, I think, uh, like, and I think, like, I think it's because I think it's when because you're in more community in more atmospheres, atmospheres, like, like um, the speedrunning um, and stuff like that, I think, like, that. I think, like once, you people, once you get to know people, it's a lot harder to harass harder them to and things like that. Things um, like so that's that. actually my so that's actually pet theory my about why I haven't been getting harassed nearly as much as the first time I went on. One, I'm not wearing an obnoxious MIT, so people aren't having the elitist reaction. And two, people actually kind of know who I am, even if it is like 20 minutes of television, and so they feel bad, like, yelling at me, I guess, you know? And I'm not, like, super showy, like, um, Austin or other people, so there's not, like, fresh things to hate about me. It turns out I'm a pretty boring person, just like the rest of the people on Jeopardy. I guess, like, if you can release it in early access, like, I guess there's no reason not to. I would assume maybe there's more merchandising, uh, or, like, licensing. <laughs> some people are getting this echo, some people aren't, and I don't really know what to say about it. I'm sorry. I suck at streaming. Um, I suck at streaming, and any guides you can give me to improve bitrate or echo is A+. plus. <laughs> I mean, even on my side, on right, my like, side, right? Uh, I don't uh, see, I, don't I, I haven't seen any I harassment, seen I haven't even gotten, like, catcalled, like, cat right? right? Um, I did get my first dick pic recently, um, I reported that guy and I also told his, like, friends that, like, he was sexually harassing me, and then, like, he blocked me, which I thought was hilarious, but, anyways, um, like, like, Again, like I've been the only woman on my on my engineering teams at Apple, and I like never see it. I think just when it does happen, it's real bad. The the sheer implosion of Hollywood right now should be like a testament to that. I think most people are generally good on the inside. I think that things like anonymity and like allow us to forget our common humanity, and then that people do bad stuff because of that. Um, it's just, it's hard, like, this in-group, out-group thing. I don't know. I don't have a solution for the human condition. I'm, like, literally rambling at this point. <sighs> Man. Uh. Uh. <laughs> uh. I'm using OBS. Uh. Hell yeah! I applied for Intel SDS! Oh my god, let me pull out my jacket. Check it. Check it. I have my I have my STS jacket. I I can let me pull up OBS so I can see if I'm actually showing it or not. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, but see, I got my my Intel jacket. Um yeah, I was an STS finalist. So uh advice for writing those essays? God, I don't even know. I don't know how I got I got STS finalist, STS honestly. Finalist, um, honestly. Um, like, this is like, not super helpful not for super you, helpful Michael Burps, you, but, uh, uh, like, expecting 18 year olds to, like, know enough about what they're doing with their life and, like, putting it into a coherent essay form, like, I don't understand how we expect this as a reasonable thing because I don't really know what I was doing. And, like, looking back at the essays is one of the most painful things. <laughs> to do, to um, do. Um, <laughs> this is not the advice you're looking for, I'm sorry, um, like, uh, at the very least, just think about it as practice for technical writing, which is an extremely useful skill, and it's really unfortunate how many people at MIT just, like, can't write to save their life, um, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, so just take it, like, you've, you've, if you're if you're even considering about applying to STS, you've done good work. Um, get a lot of people to look at your things. If you can get your uh, mentor to look at it, that would be great. Um, the more like people who have done technical writing, the better. Um, I don't even remember what the other essays were for STS, but uh, what should we call it? Yeah, I'm sorry. This is not the advice you were looking for. Um, yeah. Yeah. 
uh, the yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, so like, um, so like, when I got my first dick pic, uh, what I, I had seen some like feminist some, clickbait like, articles clickbait that told you like, that told you, hey, you should hey, message you should the message like the other people around who are like associated with this person. So yeah, I like went to the dude who sent me a dick pics profile. I like looked at the women on his profile and I said, hey, um, XYZ is sending me dick pics. Here's a screenshot. Can you tell him to stop? And like immediately stopped it because like once you realize that your actions like actually have consequence um you like are like wow darn but the really sad thing about it was that when i messaged those um that dude's friends they they couldn't believe that he he was doing it right they were like convinced that like oh it, he must have gotten hacked or like you must have the wrong guy and i was like look i wouldn't get your profile if it wasn't associated with this guy um but, like, that's the sort of same thing about, like, they've never met me. I'm, like, this dude was from California, and I'm from, uh, uh where am I from? I I'm in Boston, right? Like, they're never gonna know me. Um, and so there's the tendency to believe, like, the people you do know, right? Like, that face-to-face -face connection versus just random people. <sighs> Man. Uh, do I know Angela from STS? Um, so I did Intel... Um, so the mic echo seems to be only for some people, and when I recorded it, normally I didn't hear via OBS, it didn't hear it, IDK what's going on. Uh, what year did Angela do STS? Because I did it in 2013, so I probably don't know Scrub Lords nowadays. Oh jeez, what's... I probably should go to bed soon. Oh my god, my phone is blowing up with notifications. But yeah, it's uh, midnight 16 over here. Um, so... Yeah, that, that's what everybody's been saying in terms of like... Bit rate and stuff like that. I swear Comcast is... Okay, I think I'm gonna wrap up the stream. Um, so get your last comments in. I'll try to finish this um, Shenzhen Solitaire. Uh, speak now, forever hold your peace. Or I'm just messing around. Let's screw this. Uh, yeah, one thing about playing this in... Um, Manually was that like not having the things like sh 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 up is is uh sadder. <laughs> I think. Oh crap! It's, this is a green one. Green one. Crap. 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 Um. Um. Two and three are. Oh shoot. Nope, I have turned nope, off my built-in mic, like, mic. Like, definitely. definitely. Um, um, yeah, I turned off the video yeah, capture device. Video capture device. Uh, yeah, so I, I yeah, don't so know I, what's, I don't know what's going, on. going on. Um, um yeah, if you guys yeah, could yeah, help guys doctor could help my stream. Oni This is pretty good. Um, Sarah Voles? Yeah, Sarah Voles? Yeah, I know Sarah. Yeah, I know Sarah. She's cool. Yeah, Sarah Voles. I do know Sarah. All right. Yeah. yeah. Thanks everybody for, Thanks coming. Everybody for um, coming. Um, this was like the most popular like stream. The most popular Not a lot of engineering that got done, that but, got uh, but uh, I hope that you like the content. I hope that you like the conversations. Um, I definitely enjoyed it, definitely and, this enjoyed it. Enjoyed it. and this is and one of the things, things I really like about streaming, like about streaming is, um, is getting, to getting to talk with you guys and uh, show off games that I like and talk about whatever. So.